let's go on to dive. Okay. Rade, Rade, everybody. Tandavat, this is Vilap uh, Kusumanjali. And this is Chakshu, of course. <laughs> this is Vilap Kusumanjali, verse 20, continuation from last Saturday. So I continue. Uh, I start with reading the verse and then we jump over. If you have the, I think this is the newer version. It, uh, we start reading from verse, from page 88. And second paragraph, lacking his desired service, Sri Raghunath cries. From there, we will start. So I read now the verse and then I will ask if everybody has found this. So the verse is, when may this maidservant, after washing your lotus feet and brushing your teeth with a twig, seat you in the bathroom Wow, these are the monkeys. Now monkeys are running over the roof. So. Seat you in the bathroom and having anointed you with very fragrant oils, massage you there. So I read again. When may this maidservant after washing your lotus feet and brushing your teeth with a twig, see you in the bathroom, seat, sorry, seat you in the bathroom and having anointed you with very fragrant oils, massage you there. You want to turn it off? So now I, I continue with the purport. Lacking his desired service. Anybody complaining? Did, has everybody found it? I, because we do not have a connection to the translators. It is because I don't see, I just see you, Gorang. I don't see anybody else. <laughs> it's okay, huh? I'll start. Lacking his desired service, Sri Raghunath cries. But by Swamini's grace, he gets a transcendental vision of his Siddha's service. Tulasi uses a soft twig of a mango tree to crush Sri Radhika's teeth and pours water on Swamini's hands from the nozzle of a golden pitcher. German translation is not fixed. I just see coming up here. Can we wait now? But I don't hear so Sudevi. No, no, for me this is fine. The translation isn't fixed. I'm sorry. Is everything fine with you? With me pers personally, yes. <laughs> okay. okay then from I here, I, I cannot <laughs> fix anybody. I cannot do anything for the translation room. So who, who fixed the others? Maybe he or she can fix the German.
translations. Who needs translations? Perhaps it works without. Master Devi, we can hear you talking. Ich habe ja auch geredet. Ich wollte ja auch das noch nicht verstehen. Und jetzt mache ich es auch wieder aus. Please, Chakchuji, continue. I'm sorry. The water becomes red when it runs over Shimati's hands. And the fragrant water she pours over her face becomes even more fragrant afterwards. Swamini spits the water with which she flushed her mouth into a golden lota. With the fingers of her left hand, Tulasi wipes Swamini's curly locks away from her limitlessly beautiful and lustrous forehead cheeks and eyes to avoid that she becomes overwhelmed by remembering Shyam through the bluish color of these locks. It is the service of Baba Mai whose Mahabhav is thus welling up. When Tulasi takes Swamini into the bathroom after combing her hair, she gives Swamini a matchless savor by showing her a sweet picture of Syamasunda there. So rather, rather. We can see here what Chakshuji was reading. That first seva what in these words is described. And this is the washing, brushing the feet of Radhika. and washing her hands, which very nicely Raghunath gave to us to relish this. And Antadas Babaji, in more detailed ways, explain this scene. And it's very interesting that the first sentence from this paragraph is starting lacking his desires service. So this is desire, deeply desired service of Raghunath in his Sadakavir. To do this seva to his beloved Swami. This is very conscious, eager, but conscious desire. I want to do this same. This is the reason why it said, lacking his desired seva. If we desire something, but we cannot attain it, we feel sorrow. We are lacking this. So his desire to do this seva for beloved Swamini is so strong that he cries. He's doing it in his Sadaka Vesh consciousness. And by mercy of Shimate Radharani, he's getting 
the visions which looks like a direct seva to Radhika by her grace. Why it looks like a direct seva? Because Raghunath is losing completely his external consciousness. And he sees only Radharani, bathroom, but he see himself like she, like Tulsi. And this seva is so, this uh, scene, this vision is so vivid that he is not aware anymore about anything which is coming from external consciousness. And his strong desire, and like result of this strong desire, trying to fulfill this desire, melt Radharani's heart you even more. Her heart is already <clears throat> full of compassion and is melted. But when she hears, the pitiful cry of her maidservant, then her heart is melting even more. And she cannot resist, because through eagerness and cry, her beloved maidservant is calling her. And Radhika cannot resist, but she has to appear. And then what's going on? Now Tulsi Manjari is starting to serve from his Sida Swarup, doing his Sida Seva, internal Swarup Seva. So in this sentence, the process of Sadhana Bhakti is explained. First, we need association of those devotees who are already on that platform. Then we have to properly follow them, and by following them, their emotions will start to appear in our hearts. And their emotions in one way are very intense, but in another way they are very simple, because there is only one way of their emotions, one point of their emotions. And this is to please and always serve Srimati Radharani. So the, this is the process of Sadhana Bhakti, Bhava Bhakti, and ultimately attaining prema by following the footsteps or emotions bow of eternal radhika's maidservant this is very crucial point and baba will continue in all commentary speaking little bit about lila and little bit how sadaka has to perform his budget. He is describing and giving instructions, right path, to properly practice. If you can accept these instructions, then blessings will come, for sure. But if we have some, our own ideas, like always, conditioned soul, has his own ideas, then the process will be a little bit slower. But if we allowed Rasik devotees completely to model us according to their and Radhika's desire, then we will feel the blessings, we will feel the mercy, we will feel what they 
already are feeling. And now when the vision appears, this is the result of the blessings. We sadhakas has opportunity to see what's going on in a bathroom and how Tulasi is expertly serving Swamini and what Swamini is doing when she's served by her maidservant. So here we can find Lila, intimate Lila in the bathroom, but in the same time, we are receiving instructions how to properly perceive this Lila, like observers, like viewers. Because we should learn from perfect Radhika's maidservants how really to serve like a manjari, how to feel like a manjari, and how to feel the heart of Swamin. And Chakshuji was reading very important sentence uh, just to find uh, in. It is the service of Bhava Mai whose Mahabhava is thus swelling up. So serving a embodiment of Bhava, Bhava Mai requires also Bhava from maidservant. We cannot serve on the bodily conception of love life, we cannot serve without bhava, pure love. We should understand very seriously this, because to serve bhava mai, we need to know her mind and heart. And it cannot be learned by the books, by the some projects. It should be received. And how to receive? Acharyas are giving us advice and instruction to be very emotionally, fully heartedly connected with the words of Acharyas. Because in these words, everything is present what we need. Manjari feelings, Manjari intelligence, Manjari way of thinking, Manjari ability to feel Radharani, and ultimately expertise in Manjari se. So when we are reading this together or alone or just between two, three, four of us, you know, we should understand and accept fully heartedly that we are coming in the contact with the hearts of Rasik devotees. And their pure hearts are manifesting through their words and connecting ourselves with their words, we will be connected with their hearts. This is the process of Manjari Bhav Sadhana or Raga Bhakti Sadhana. It is the service of Bhava Mai, not Lakshmi, 
We cannot serve Radharani like we are used maybe to serve Lakshmi, Krishna, Godhead, this and that, different murtis. No, we should learn how to feel Radharani. What she needs, what she wants, even if she is not aware in that moment, Manjari perfectly knows what is hidden in Radharani's heart. And it could be learned and connect, connected only with our strong, strong, deep love with her maidservants. They are our best friends. Tulasi here is bringing us in the bathroom and say, sit and look how I am doing. Sit be behind your Guru Manjari and look how I am doing this seva. Because by looking this, your spiritual body will grow and become mature. And this is our bhajana. This is our spiritual practice. Very simple. But sometimes we are so complicated that we want to make some other ways. This is my misfortune also. And I have to learn from my mistakes. And I have to admit my mistakes. Otherwise, how we, I will progress in my life if I always make the same mistake? <laughs> no problem. No possible. And you can see here, in each purport, Ananta Das Babaji is giving practically same instructions. It means following. Not your own concoction, your imagination. And this is the Raga Anuga Bhakti. Following Anuga, those devotees who are on spontaneous love. On that level. And for why we are talking so much about this also, because in each purpose Baba is talking, because he knows which kind of cases we are, always rebellion, always independent. And he wants to tune us in the proper heart consciousness. So first step in this to accept it, but not theoretically, but rather to apply in our life. We say, yes, 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 of course, I accept it. But when I finish my reading, I still start to go on my own way. <laughs> What can we do? This is misfortune of the Jiva Bada, condition so. Now he's, Tulasi is bringing us to other Seva, what she is doing. And Chakshuji will continue to read. Pointing at it, at the picture the, from Siamasunda, pointing 
at the picture of Yamasunda with her fingers, Tulasi says, your teeth look like pomegranate, seed, pomegranate seeds that attract the parrot of Rindavan. Here he is. Look at him. Vishaka had drawn that picture when she had just fallen in love with Krishna. Purvara. Tulasi reminds Swamini of the sweet history of the picture, saying, Swamini, I remember you once wrote a letter to Krishna saying, you are living in my house as a picture, and wherever I flee, there you are standing to stop me with stretched out arms. Who is Krishna Mai? She sees Krishna everywhere. And for her, the picture of Krishna is like the Krishna is present in front of her. This is the mystic of transcendental spiritual world. Usually, when we are coming in our daily life in the contact with some picture, picture is a dead matter, you know. But it reminds us or provoke in us some emotions, some uh, memories, good or bad, it doesn't matter, some feelings. But if you touch the picture with your fingers, it's a canvas, it's a paper, depends. But when Radhika is looking at Krishna, she also remembers all her pastimes. But this picture for her is alive. And wherever she tries to escape in the home, she feels that Krishna with his hands are catching her. So this is the beauty of transcendental paintings, transcendental pictures. Because they are, they are not different from the lilas. And when devotees who are deeply absorbed in their bow see some picture, Immediately they feel strong connection. Chakshuji is the painter. Maybe he knows to explain much better than me. So here is the expertise of Manjari, another expertise. Bring Radhika, Krishna, in the form of picture so that her emotions are swelling and swelling and swelling. This is the perfection of Seva. Not only to bath Radharani, to dress Radharani, but actually to provoke more intense feelings in Radharani. So many others can dress Radharani. So many others can bath Radharani. Mother also is bathing Radharani. 
Girlfriends are also bathing Radharani sometimes. But when Manjari is bathing Radharani, she is provoking, intensifying the most hidden feelings in Srimati Radharani. And this is desire for Sringar Ras to give the Krishna pleasure. I don't know who is here more. In this way, Pulasi makes Swamini relish the sweetness of her previous pastimes and simultaneously washes her mouth and brushes her teeth. Blessed is this maidservant. This is the eternal beauty of Radha Dasya. Absorbed in identification with the Guru given Siddha Svaru, one serves Swamini Ji's Uchwala Murti. One serves Swamini Ji's Uchwala Murti. What does it mean, Ujwala Murti? Baba is saying, is adding actually. He didn't say just uh, maid servant is serving Swaminiji. But he says, Swaminiji is Ujwala Murti. So this is the special mood of Srimati Radharani. And murti means embodiment, like a form, embodiment of Ujwal Rasa. Ujwal Rasa, loving, Madhurya, pastime, Rasa, amorous, pastime. This means Ujwala. Radhika is embodiment of Ujwala. Rasa, and also her sakis, girlfriends, are also engaged in this Ujwal Rasa. But the Radhika is source of all sakis, all her emotions to give a Krishna, Krishna pleasure. And she is embodiment of that amorous pastimes, Ujwal, most brilliant. Ujwal means most brilliant. Why most brilliant? Because all senses attain most intense pleasure when they are engaged in Ujwal, amorous pastimes. And Krishna is meant to feel, to relish this Ujwal, that all his senses becomes completely mad out of ecstasy. And this is possible only in Madhurya Rasa, in the mood of Parakya Bhav. Other Rasas, are giving Krishna so much pleasure. But this Madhurya Rasa, amorous pastimes, gives him the most. So this is the reason why it said Ujwal, most brilliant. It is most brilliant because it gives so much light, effulgence, 
of happiness. You know, when mother embraces Krishna, he is very happy. He is shining. When his friends embrace him, he is also so happy, so pleased, and very shiny. But when Radhika catches him with her embrace, then he is fainting. No one can make Krishna faint but Ujvala Murti, a embodiment of amorous pastime, Shimati Radharani. So Baba is glorifying here this special mood and special quality of Shimati Radharani that she is a embodiment of most brilliant lover, love, full of passion. This is the reason why it calls Ujwal uh, brilliant, because it's passion to give her lover pleasure. And to serve this Ujvala Murti requires special person who is above this Ujval, Unat Ujval. Unat Ujval it means Manjari Bal, who can serve these amorous pastimes but not in an active role, like a Sakis, like a Gopis, like a Radharani. But they, Manjaris, are giving the pleasure to Yuga Lakishore, to loving, amorous couple. And this is the eternal beauty, Baba is saying here, this is eternal beauty of Radha Dasi. This is eternal. And how it is possible to attain? by identification with Guru-given Siddha Swarup. Otherwise, it's not possible to serve Ujvala Murti. Through Swarup, Raghunath is serving Radharani directly. He's approaching. He has so deep intimate connection through Swarup. And this is the Guru given Kripa, Guru Guru Dev mercy upon disciple Shishya. But it's just the present. It depends on receiver of that present how he will or she will apply what she will do with this present. Because sometimes we can receive some present and put in aside. Gurudev is talking so much. You put it in Almira, in the cupboard, <laughs> or in the shelf somewhere. You know. But to properly use the present, it means that we should first underst uh, understand the value of the present and keep it very close to our heart. And by following previous Mahajans, we are learning how to properly by practicing how to properly use 
this present Swarup Siddhi, Swarup or Bhava Dev. If someone wants to share something, please just, uh, I also don't see everyone. And uh, please, if you want to share, or you, Chak Shuji, want to share something, add, please don't hesitate. So my main question was about this Uchwala Murti. <laughs> so, and you very elaborately answered my questions. Rather than the you can re read the practicing devotee should learn services like tooth brushing by meditating on how the eternally perfect maidservant Tulasi performs them they are the gurus of the Yugala Seva that have descended from the Vraj Nikunja along with Sriman Mahabrabhu to take the neophyte devotees out of this material world into the Nikunja abode by teaching them Manjari Bhav Sadhana, Tat Baba Lipsana. Karya Vraja Lokana Sarada. Those who desire that mood follow in the footsteps of the people of Rav. Virupa and Raghunathas Goswami are these people of Rav that have given the sadhakas a perfect example of how to perform Manjari Seva, both in the internal and external bodies. This is Rupa Nuga. This means really Rupa Nuga. If we follow Rupa, Manjari, Rati Manjari, if we follow their feelings, their bhava, their mood, we can call ourselves Rupa Nuga. And this is the essential instruction for practicing Raga Sadhana Bhakti. Following Raja Loka Anusarata. Anusarata means following the residence of Vrindavan. Different residents of Vrindavan are in different moods. In, they have different bhavas. So we should find which bhava is more convenient for us, more suitable for us. And when we define that, then we should follow their mood, their activity their feelings and their way of thinking. This is the crucial, crucial instruction. And Baba is saying they are perfect examples. So we cannot say, I have my idea. I cannot do this. We should try at least a little bit to connect ourselves, to go behind them, not in front of them, but behind them. Because they already know the path. So we should just follow their footsteps by going behind them. So simple. Raja Loka Anusarata. It is so simple 
and natural that Lakshmi couldn't follow that. Lakshmi, who is the consort of Narayan, Supreme Personality of Godhead, Vishnu, in one day she got some desire to be close with Krishna and to come in Vrindavan. And she came in the border of Rindavan. She couldn't enter, but she, on the border she stopped and started to make different kinds of austerities. Vows, austerities. Because she was very used for austerities. She knows if you want to attain Supreme Personality of Godhead, you have to do some austerities. But all her practice, all her habits didn't help her to enter in Vraja. For entering in Vraja, she had to do only one thing. Just one thing, so simple thing. To recognize the feelings of Rajavasis, which are so sweet and full of love, spontaneous love, in the mood of parents, in the mood of friends, or in the mood of Sakis, and just follow their feelings, their bala, their mood, mellow. You know, you see how many words are just for one thing, actually. She couldn't do that. She couldn't follow Rajavasis. And because of that, she couldn't come in Vrindavan. She couldn't become so closed with Krishna because her mood and her practice was completely opposite of Vraja Loka Anusarata. So this is very important example which is given in Shastras, in Bhagavatam, which is showing us that the most crucial point is to connect our hearts and feelings with feelings of the perfect devotees. And when someone is really connected with, in the heart with the feelings, immediately she, he is becoming observer. Automatically. Because through the observing position, he wants to become absorbed in this bhava. In this manjari bhava. How can I comb Radharani's hair if I didn't learn how to do that? And it's not just technical thing, you know, to take Radharani's hair and put the comb and comb, comb. It's not like this at all. Because in every movement of this comb, in the way how Manjari is holding Radharani's hair, is so many secrets are present, devotional secrets, full of different bhavas. And it should be revealed to the sadhaka and his bhajan. But it will be revealed only if he is Raja Loka Anusarata, following the mood, not independently or his concoction. I am combing Radharani. That's very good. Okay, just continue. But it doesn't mean that you are practicing Manjari Bhava. 
practicing Manjariba is very clearly written here. Seva sadaka rupena, sida rupena chatriki, tadbhava lipsuna vraja loka anusarata. This is the crucial, crucial instruction. Inside, outside, I'm following. How I'm following outside? First of all, by listening their words. And when we say listening, when we are relishing through the ears their words. I'm drinking their words. I'm drinking the words of Baba, of my beloved Gurudev. I'm drinking. I'm intoxicating my heart and my consciousness with their words. I'm sorry that I'm speaking so much about this. Many of you, you want to, to listen the Lila. But believe me, if we miss this point, we will also miss the Lila. Real, real transcendental Lila will not appear in our heart. And Baba and Gurudev and all our Acharyas are trying to prepare our heart to receive properly nectar of Lila. They are gurus of Yugala Seva. There is no other gurus. Goswamis are gurus. Baba is saying they are gurus. And aspirants should learn service like toothbrushing by meditating on how eternally perfect maid servant Tulsi performs that. By meditating how Tulasi is massaging, combing the hair, making the braid of him, putting the red lac, how she is, she is doing. This is the sadhana, bhajana for aspirant. And through this kind of meditation, he will receive all sufficient blessings. Yes. Shuji, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. And I'm just thinking now for myself and for others that now is, of course, also the question, uh, if I sit down and meditate about how is Tulasi brushing Swamini's so teeth, Maybe you can speak about this pr very practical process. Because for me, this is the biggest hindrance. We should try to practice this. We should put little endeavor in that. To put ourselves First of all, to understand who am I? I'm Radharani's maidservant. And if I received Swarup, then I first have to meditate on myself, how I'm looking, and all details about my eternal spiritual identity. And I'm not alone. Many devotees has, have difficulties because they are alone 
and they are trying alone to make a meditation towards and to be focused on Radharani. We are not alone. Raguna, uh, Narottam Das Thakur is singing in Prema Bhakti Chandrika, but also Bhakti Vinod Thakur and all other Acharyas. I am surrounding with so many maid servants of Srimati Radhara who are protect me, who are supporting me, who are teaching me. I'm not alone. I like to be in their association. They are giving me hints. Do this garland. Bring this towel. Bring this flower. I'm not alone. And I'm always with my Guru Mahārāj. Then, because she catch my hands and told me, sit here now, <laughs> beside me. You are my friends. I am your friend. Don't be afraid. Don't worry. Just look. Just observe how Tulsi Manjari is doing this beautiful Sveva to Swami. Just sit, look. And this is the practice. Because through this kind of looking, all mercy, all emotions, all expertise, everything what is necessary, all balas, will be infused in our hearts. We cannot infuse ourselves. We should just expose our heart to be infused. But if we have still some doubts, about my Guru Manjari. Maybe she is not so advanced. If I still have some doubts in the process, maybe I can attain my goal in some other way. Then the difficulties appear. And this doubtfulness is a very subtle. This doubtfulness should be recognized mm -hmm. because without acceptance, mm -hmm. meditation will never go so deeply. Mm -hmm. We have, we can have lila smarana, no problem. But what does it mean, smarana? I remember, I forgot, I remember, I forgot, I remember, I forgot. This is Smarana. But when we accept with full heart something, then we can go in dhyana, in deep meditation, because I don't have any doubts. I already surrendered my heart to my beloved Guru Manjari. I don't have any doubts. She will bring me to my goal. And all my Guru Parampara will bring me to Gaur. This is one point. Another point is great, great feeling of independence, which, is, which makes this path, natural path, so complicated. Sadaka wants to depend on Acharyas. I want to depend on my Gurudev. 
I want to de completely depend on my Guru Manjari. I want to completely depend on their instruction and their words. And if I cannot do it, then difficulty appears. So proper, proper following of the feelings, very consciously, knowing what, what I'm doing and what I want to attain, and very consciously being aware that some my bad habits are not so good for myself. And I want to be rid of that. And for that, I need the mercy. I understand what is my difficulty. And I also understand that I cannot solve this problem. I need help. I need to depend on my doctor who will give me proper medicine, proper advice, proper diet. I want to depend on his instruction because I understand this is honesty, this is sincerity. I understand I cannot win this battle yet. <laughs> Whatever I do, I will make things even worse. So, Guru Shraddha, Guru Nishta, Ishta Nishta is the essence of Swarup Nishta. And each of us, we have to work on that. Someone has to work more like me, someone has to work less. Someone doesn't have to work at all because <laughs> he already gave up all his independence, concoctions, doubts. He doesn't work together. He immediately, like an arrow, is going straight. But I have to do my homework. <laughs> what should I do? I don't know, it's, it's helped or not. Yes, the more we talk about it, the better. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the reason why we have these Sanghas. Mm -hmm. Yes, so Devi, I think that you, yeah, you want to say something? No, okay. Ah, you will go out of the translation room. All right, all right. Radhe, uh, Radhe. Who is this? Radhe. Okay. I have one question. Do you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can I ask? Mm -hmm. Yes. Who are you? <laughs> Your neighbor, Rajeshwari Priya. <laughs> oh, Slovenian, Jai Rajeshwari. Yeah. It's so nice that your family is there. <laughs> yes. Wow. So, good good yes. Yes. You said that uh, we meditate how Tulasi Manjari is brushing Radharani's teeth. Yes. So, then is it not okay? To, to come together with this feeling like I am doing, not this Tulasi. Is this okay or not? Depends on the person, you know. If someone has already developed emotions in Manjari Bhava mood and he is completely stable, he is completely fixed, he has no any obstacles in his absorption on his spiritual identity. It's completely natural that he can do it. But honestly, my dear, Shishya is always Shishya. Even in the spiritual world, Shishya depends on her Guru Manjari. 
new manjari always depends on guru manjari and guru manjari is always depends on her guru manjari on her guru manjari, on her guru manjari. because this is the love how is functioning devotional love but of course if someone is not so advanced so not so matured and situated in, in his manjari bhava realized it's very important to always think that he is surrounding like a fence, protective fence. He is surrounding by the eternal, perfect maid servants of Shimata Radharani. And when he realizes that, and when he sees comfortably in their circle, he never wants to leave this kind of association. This is my strong conviction. Not to say realization, but conviction. It's not the question what is proper, what is not proper. It's the question mm -hmm. of state of stable. And when devotee attains strong, fixed stable, and he is completely overwhelmed with bhava, not Ashakti, not Ruchi, but Bhava and Prema. And then with other levels up to Mahabhava, then everything is possible. But we are sadakas, we are neophytes. We need the help of those who are more advanced than we are. And we should learn how to follow. Because Raghunath is following Rupa Manjari, my dear. He is not doing seva independently. Some sevas he is doing alone with Radharani, but he is always aware this is mercy of my Rupa Manjari. He is saying, by your mercy, my dear friend Rupa Manjari, some desire for devotional service of Swamini appears in my heart. Some taste for Radha Kunda appears because of you, not because I have been in Radha Kunda. <laughs> Deep subject. He is completely depending on Rupa Manjari in his heart. He is following and receiving everything from Rupa Manjari. Yeah. Although he is eternal maidservant. Because this is the way of love. Pure love is functioning like this, in that way. But we are afraid of following. And this is the key attitude. Yes, because we have bad experiences because when we were followed someone. But we cannot ex apply these experiences in this kind of connection with the pure maidservants of Shimata Radharani, pure rustic devotees. We are afraid to follow. That's the point. Because of bad experiences in our materialistic life. And this is the reason why Acharya Sal always say, first, establish yourself, you are Radha Dasi. I am yours. And Guru given Swarup is helping Sadaka to do this. 
And the more devotee receives Guru Kripa, receives Guru Kripa, not earn Guru Kripa, receives Guru Kripa. In his humble heart, the more condensed is his Swarup. We said something better than nothing. <laughs> yes, thank you. Radhe, Radhe. Deep subject, Radhe. but in the same time, very simple. Use use this chance to always to 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 be greedy for the dust of lotus feet of our beloved Guru Dev. You are there for 7, 10, 15 days, I don't know. Use, nothing is more important than that. Pray Radha Mohan to give you strength to properly get the mood of Gurudev and pray the Gurudev to get the proper mood of Radha Mohan. It's too short time for anything else. Yes. Love you. My greetings and hugs to your husband <laughs> and Priyesh. Radhe. <laughs> Thank you for the nice explanation. I need your mercy. My Is dear. It, can you hear me properly? Because now the bacham became much more loud. Yeah. Uh, your bhajan is loud <laughs> from your heart. Chakshuji. Not my bhajan. <laughs> okay. We can continue. So we continue. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to find the words where we are. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, Today maybe this paragraph. paragraph of page yeah. eight. Yes, this paragraph you can uh, read and finish because it, it will be too late. Yeah. Thank you, my dear. Tulasi had brought Swamini back to external consciousness by making her relish the remembrance of previously played pastimes. After Swamini brushed her teeth, Tulasi hands her a bow shaped tongue scraper. Swamini holds this scraper between her tender index fingers and thumbs and cleans her tongue with it. Her body gently rocks along while she scrapes her tongue. Tulasi smiles slightly when she sees this. Because this motion reminds her of a certain Rasika situation, and by showing her the splendor of her smile, Tulasi makes Swamini most happy, for it also awakens her remembrance of this Rasika situation. Again, Tulasi makes Swamini flush her mouth and then she wipes her hands and mouth with a thin white handkerchief. Swamini then washes her face once again with the nectar of her own smile. The devotee who is fixed in Smaran should be completely free from external consciousness and should identify himself only with his Siddha Swarup. Maybe we continue next time. Huh?
and will you speak one hour on this? We already spoke, yes, you are <laughs> right, actually. <laughs> yes, we can stop here. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Identification, <clears throat> this is absorption, yes. This is a very important thing, and we cannot jump over, we cannot skip directly to Radhika if we miss this point. That's the point. Yeah. We really miss the point. We will miss the point. We will miss the path. We will miss the process. We will miss the gift which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave us. If we try, if we try to skip over that. But if we, in very simple way, simple heartedly, openly accept their words, Baba is saying each syllable of their words. <laughs> it is so powerful that it will change our heart and our materialistic bodily consciousness. And we should only think we should have to have a faith in these words. Then everything from this faith, everything else will come. But if there is still some doubts, then it will take a time. Like in my case. Bhakti is a run on a long, it's a long run way. So, results are not coming overnight. They can come. Lava Matra, they can come overnight. But it was so long preparation time before that night. And we need proper direction, instruction, and also strength and ability to follow. Nothing else. Strength. We need the spiritual strength. <laughs> Bala. Radhi, Radhi. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was like this, Zoom was like this. Thank you, Raseshwari. You <laughs> was helping us. Chak Shuji was yeah, reading. Thank you so much for your wonderful explanation. If you want, you can continue next Saturday if you are in... Um... Yes, yes, I'm still here. Yes, and then we can continue still the same words and commentary. Because yes. it's so much yes. rasa. And so much instructions are there mm. in these words. And thank you very much because you chose these words. Yes, because I'm reading this verse already five times myself, this explanation. And still, I always have to feel you have to read it again and again and again. Yeah, thank you very much for this sharing no. because you, you yes. gave us no, no end. No end, really, no end. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. So now we have, we have to, now we have to hide under some roof. <laughs> All right, Radhe, Radhe, it's so nice to hear your explanations. We are very, very happy about that.